Okay, guys, I just showed you the area, one of the um, spots that I iguana, iguana hunt in. And um, right now, I'm just going to share with you all of the tools that I have or the tools that I utilize to catch them while I'm out there. So the first item that I'm going to show you here is just a long sleeve shirt. You can find any long sleeve shirt that's comfortable for you because while I'm out there hunting, the sun is very hot and um, you know I just want to um, keep the sun off of my skin for as much as possible and it's also a um, safety type of um, equipment as well because I've never been scratched by an iguana but I just want to use the sleeves on that shirt just to protect me um, just in case that ever happens and believe me I try my hardest for that not to happen <laughs> okay so the next item on the list is this little hat here this hat keeps the sun off of my neck and out of my face so that I could focus on what I need to focus on and you know it's just like another um, safety type of equipment there okay this little bag here I bought from the thrift store for three dollars and what I do is I hang this bag across my chest and I have a couple of other items inside of the bag and that's what I'm going to show you now I use these gloves to handle the iguana so I don't just grab them barehandedly. I use these gloves, I put them on, and when it's time for me to grab the iguana, that's how I do it. Once I grab the iguana, I take the tape out of the bag. And what I do is take the tape and put the tape around their arms and around their legs to make them immobile. And um, it's just any kind of, it's, um, let's see, doesn't, the brand doesn't matter, just any type of tape that you could use to subdue them and um, these are the little scissors that I use and to cut the tape with alright it's like only two dollars I bought it from Walmart alright and um, the last but not least piece of equipment is my 12 foot long fishing pole I have it all tied up right now but this is the pole, fishing pole that I use attached to the fishing pole is this long piece of thread here um, and I don't know exactly what it is the guy who taught me how to do the iguana hunting he had he attached this this um, piece of thread rope or whatever you want to call it to my fishing pole for me and at the end of the pole is the loop and this is a very thick fishing line I think he said it's like 300 pound test and um, what it is is a um, snare that attaches and when you catch the iguana you see there, there's, there's like a barrel swivel here this little metal, metal part there's a barrel swivel and these are the um, knots that I have attached to it and what happens is when you take the pole and you extend it as far as you could and you try to put this noose around the iguana's neck and once you do that that's when you pull the rope and it tightens the snare all the way down on the neck so that the iguana cannot escape all right and so that's all of the equipment that I use is very cheap I got the 12 foot fishing pole from Walmart for $39.99 plus tax um, the thrift store I have a bag you can use any bag you know as long as it can hold the tape or you, and your gloves and your scissors whatever equipment that you have you know it doesn't matter um, if you don't have a long sleeve shirt you can go to the thrift store and buy one for one or two dollars my hat um, you know you can buy one of those hats from sporting places sporting goods places uh, Walmart that type of thing see it's got this flap on the back which protects my neck from the sun and it has a little thing here so you put it on and you're covered um, and that's it that's all the equipment that I use for iguana hunting alright so the next video that you see guys is going to be an actual video of me in action um, catching the iguana showing you exactly how it works and um, you know just showing you what I'm doing 
All right, guys, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And you all know how it goes. If you want to be like me, I'm a survivor and thriver. Out.